Welcome to another video from the Fisherman's Net and Saints Peter and Paul in Naperville, Illinois. In this new series of videos, we're looking at the concept of communion and how central communion is to our Catholic faith and how we can use communion as kind of a thread that links together all kinds of different aspects of all things Catholic. So we talk about communion um, as an intimate sharing of life and love. So the Trinity, God himself, is a communion of persons, an intimate sharing of life and love. We speak of man and woman in marriage being a communion of persons. Uh, we speak of the communion of saints, an intimate sharing of life and love. And we even speak of receiving communion, um, an intimate sharing of life and love with our Eucharistic Lord. Well, this all begins for us at creation. We are created for communion. From the very moment of our existence, we're called into communion. In fact, God creates us for no other reason than to enter into communion with him. The God who is a communion of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, has called each one of us individually into being so as to be in communion with him in an intimate sharing of life and love. And we can see this already in the opening chapters of Genesis, where God creates uh, the light and the dark and the, the sky and the waters and the land. He creates the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and then the animals. But with none of that does he say what he says when he creates humanity. He says, let us create man in our own image and likeness. And so God creates kind of the pinnacle of his creation, humanity in his own image and likeness. Nothing else in all of visible creation is in the image and likeness of God. Rocks, roses, and rabbits, not in the image and likeness of God. So what does it mean to be created in the image and likeness of God? How are we different from all of the other visible creation around us? Well, first, we have an intellect we have an intellect that can know and seek the truth and know and seek the truth about ourselves and about our creator. As far as I know, my, my cat doesn't sit around pondering its own existence or where it came from. It, it doesn't have that kind of intellect. In all of visible creation, only humans have this gift, this intellect to seek to know the truth. We also have a will that's created to choose the good, to freely choose the good, and to choose to love. Now, uh, animals have some sort of choice, but it's not the same kind of free choice that we have to seek the good. Animals seek that which is necessary or expedient or according to their instincts, but they don't seek the good as the intellect shows it to them. They don't know the truth and then seek something because it's the good. And moreover, they can't choose to love another. Again, my pet cat shows me affection, but it's not the same as the kind of self-sacrificial love that we can, we can enter into. So we're different from the animals, created in the image and likeness of God by our intellect, which knows the truth, our will, which chooses the good and chooses to love. And third, we're called into communion like God. God is a trinity of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is a communion of persons, an intimate sharing of life and love. We are created in the image and likeness of that God, a communion of persons. And so, uh, unlike my pet hamster, we're called into a communion with our creator. Right? We were created for all eternity to be in an intimate sharing of life and love with our creator. He gave us the intellect to know him, the will to choose and to love him, and we're called to spend eternity in that communion. That's the purpose of our creation. And none of the other visible creation around us has that same goal, that same end, that same finality. As wonderful as a dog may be, a dog is not created for eternal relationship with the God of the Trinity. We are.
So from the very moment of our existence, from the very, very instant God from all eternity conceived of each one of us individually, he did so in order to call us into communion. This is the purpose of our existence, to live in relationship, an intimate sharing of life and love with our God. And as a corollary to that, what follows upon that is that here on earth, not only do we seek that communion, but we seek communion with one another. Again, if we're created with this intellect that can know and a will that can choose and choose to love, and we're created with the ability to enter into communion, we do that with other people. The, the, the perfect example is marriage, where a man and a woman enter into communion with one another, an intimate sharing of life and love. And in doing so, and giving themselves uh, in that self-forgetful pouring out of, of love, they're imaging the Trinity. They're being what they were created to be. So our whole life as Catholics, our whole lives simply as created in the image and likeness of God is to live in communion. We'll see in upcoming videos uh, that that plan that God had for us to live with him in communion was ruptured by sin, but that God set out on a rescue mission to bring his family back into communion.